Why do you like chewing on your blanket so much, Bob? Bob? Who's your fat bunny, Bob? Come on, come on, come here. I was dancing a little while earlier. Where I put his treat back? I have no idea. Oh, it's on the cell phone. <laughs> Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Frank. Okay, so first thing, this was on sale. This is a Nikkor SC2, I believe, uh, charger. It's um, it's a fast charger for lithium ion and uh, double or triple or whatever you can find. You could put in here. Charge it's by half amp, one amp, two amp, or three amps. That's great for IMR batteries, actually. This was on sale, so I picked one up. Right now, it's charging some of my Nikkor batteries for my photo shoots that I have planned. It is actually very hot. I might look a little flush because I actually spent like 15 minutes trying to find my tripod for my phone. But anyways, product haul. So, got quite a lot of stuff in the past few months. This is my uh, new party dress that I got at uh, Charlotte Ruse. Should really like it. I actually only spent like $3 on this. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, it's only $3 and it's like, I actually had a label for like five dollars and it ended up being three dollars so I actually got it. Alright guys, so before you go commenting saying that I'm kind of fat, I know I've actually gained some weight. Um, I did actually slightly uh, pulled a muscle, injured my back on one of my hiking trips last month and I haven't really been able to move around a lot and just haven't relatively haven't been feeling well so um, yeah, I know, I, I definitely gained weight. I gotta lose some before um, bikini season for summer. So, let me show you some product haul uh, I got during the past few months. I'm actually planning uh, camping trips maybe in the Stanislaus National Forest this summer, so a lot of this will be camping equipment. So, first thing here is, um, this is the Gerber, um, hatchet. Let me just show you. It's actually very sharp. I already chopped some wood with that actually. It's actually really good. Very nice. Let me just uh, put this back on there correctly. And did I sheath it? There we go. 
Uh, this is something that I got on eBay. It's actually a collapsible cup. I bought two, but I think one of them got lost in transit, so, um, yeah, see? Pretty much a cup. Got it on eBay. And I switched out the other dress because obviously um, it's not too easy to sit in that dress and this is what I was wearing today, so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm changed. Let's get this uh, in there. Okay, so this is actually something I got several months ago along with a Blade-Tech um, uh, belt holder. Um, again, I have a fan running because it's super hot up here. I did actually put some um, paracord on there and this is just so it doesn't scratch on my camera. This is the one I usually bring on my camera bag for my wilderness trips. You can see, pretty big fixed blade. This is something I think a lot of people have. It's a Baco Laplander um, folding saw. It's actually pretty good. I actually really like this. I cut some wood down um, to build some a bow stand and stuff from an archery out in the backyard. So this is something a lot of people recommend. They recommend s silky, but um, the silky ones are a lot more expensive than the Baco. So I actually have yeah, the Baco Laplander. No. This is a really recent purchase, actually. Um, CRKT, um, let's see, Ken Onion Machete. Trust me, this is huge. I just got this, like, the other day. Big-ass machete. Hopefully I'm in the frame. I have no idea what my phone is recording right now. Yep, big ass machete. For I um, might since I'm doing dispersed camping, I might have to um clear my own um campsite out in the Stanislaus National Forest. So that's why I got this. Plus, it's great for some trips because okay, maybe I don't know if you saw earlier, but so there is like a ton of red patches on my leg. The other day, I went hiking in like Suno Regional Wilderness, and I got really scratched up. Um. On this really thin trail, I was on Flag Hill Trail in the Suno Regional Wilderness, and it was only like one and a half to two feet wide, and the milk thistles, you know, the spiky purple flowers completely overgrew the trail. I mean, even though I had this knife on me, it was very hard to chop down some of the big ones, and I got pretty scratched up. I wasn't even bare leg. I actually had pants on, and it still poked me, and it's a... Yeah, that's what these machetes and knives are for. I, when I go in the wilderness, I usually have a knife on me. Very handy to have a knife. Okay. Other stuff. This is um, a mini Gorilla Pod. My old blue one broke. So this is uh, something I use on my microphone in the field. This is another tripod I got in the field. It's very tiny. As you can see, really handheld. Um, this is a Joby really small joby tripod you can see it's small it folds out like that and you could really easily I actually don't use this one too often but it's tiny okay next up um these are brunton navigational compasses um this is a slightly bigger one, this is a keychain one, they work pretty well. Um, some navigational compasses, very small, easy to bring. I recommend a compass in the field so you know what direction you're going and you can navigate home. This right here was from a couple months ago, I forgot what brand this is, I think it was Exotech or something. Um, it's pretty much just a fire steel. Um, You have a little striker built into the handle here. You just do that and it shower sparks on whatever you're trying to ignite. Magnesium fire steel right here. This is something I recommend you bring on your trips because um, in wilderness because uh, you always want something to start a fire in case you uh, get lost or can't come back. I mean you don't want to get hypothermia at night. Another great tool for starting fire, this is actually a UCO um, Titan Match. 
It actually come the one strike ahead and a couple more inside actually. It's a huge ass match to see more. And these are very big matches by the way. They use some sort of perchlorate compound so once you strike it, pretty much this will ignite once you strike it on here. And it will continue burning for probably half to a minute and there's no way to put it out even if it gets wet or under, dips under water into the dirt. It will continue burning because um, the perchlorate compound, the, I think the perchloride or the perchlorate, I forgot, um, compounds in here. It's an oxidizer so it won't actually need oxygen to burn. If you have learned any chemistry you would know what that is. It would actually continue to burn in the absence of oxygen because it's an oxidizer. Really good in the wilderness for starting a fire. Um, just don't get it wet. You know? And you do need the strike pad, you can't just strike it on anything. I mean that's one of the downsides to these um, stormproof matches. And also you can't get the strike pad wet. Okay, last thing, this is a little Stanley um, camp, camp cooking cup. Uh, Usually come with two plastic cups inside, but I actually replaced some of the stuff in here. So this I got a couple months ago. Let me just open it up here for you. There's a. I don't like this little plastic thing. That's gonna burn off in the field. Okay, something I have in here. All right. So I already took out one cup because I don't have enough room inside for two cups. Um, a lot of silverware. This is just uh, a pot holder, so you don't burn your hand. I stuffed it in there. I probably should have gotten a smaller one, but uh, this cup comes with a Stanley kit. It actually comes with two cups. Again, I took one of them off, and right here is um, a silverware set I got on eBay. Let me just show you how it works here. Okay, so pretty much the chopsticks are in uh, four pieces. Two for each piece of the chopsticks. Just twist them together and now you have working chopsticks, of course. This is easier to bring than forks, but yep. Um, there's also um, a spork in here if you really need this. Let me just get that. There we go. Spork. And again, same set over here. I'm not gonna assemble that over there since I already showed you. Yeah, there's some stuff in plastic wrap. So, pretty much that's been my product haul for the past couple months. Sorry, I keep pressing down on my dress. This wind is actually, but this fan is blowing up a little bit. Although, I think all you guys out there will probably. <laughs> I'm surprised that if that did happen. 